In this clip, we can find three mistakes. It might not be so obvious, but a lot of players do the same. They ignore orbs that are free to take. It doesn't seem to be such a big deal, right? Actually, after the 7.04 changes, ultimate orbs became even more valuable. It was already a pretty strong and smart tactic to take as many orbs as you possibly can. But now, as the ultimates cost even more, orbs are just necessary. Some ultimates are really strong on certain maps, like the QJ ultimate on low to seaside, or the bridge ultimate when you are trying to take heaven seaside. Since these abilities now cost more, focusing on orbs can give you a huge advantage over the enemy. But taking orbs won't be a complete solution for you. You need to have a plan on how to take these orbs and how to make the best out of them. Let's see an example on Ascent. We are on attack and we call for a default. So we will have two people around B, one on mid link, one on top mid and the last person close to A main. The idea here is that you as a killjoy can take the B main orb because when you woke up your teammate will be there to cover you. Other than getting an orb, it will cause a chain reaction that will be great for your team. As soon as the defenders hear noise on B main, they are likely to start rotating from A. And they can do it in three different ways. Either the A player runs through A main to push behind, where we have a player waiting for him, so we easily could find the first blood there. The A player could run through mid from Cubby, but on top mid we also have someone waiting, so once again we have a chance to find the free frag. Or they can go and rotate through their spawn. And this is all thanks to that single orb that we took on B main. But let's say they rotate on spawn, so we don't have any fights happening. After we get the orb, we leave B main to go and get the orb on A main as well. Since our teammate was covering A main, we know that it has to be clear. We take a second orb and now we can either hit A or we can just regroup and decide what's the best. But what is important for us to learn from this is that the orbs have a huge power over the enemies. It doesn't only get you closer to your ultimate, but it can also create favorable situations. You need to fight for orbs as much as you can because the benefits that they offer are just too good to be ignored. And if you are not that familiar with these ultimate changes that I was talking about, you should check out this video.